Okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a, hopefully a shorter video. I'm just, I was just thinking about something. I know this is kind of crazy me coming up with another video so quick like this, or the next day. But anyway, um, I had a quick little thought about Cosmic Fury, and uh, Cosmic Fury wasn't a bad show, and it really wasn't. It was the ten episodes uh, of a new season, technically season three of Dino Fury. But the one thing I kind of wish they done just to kind of keep Power Rangers going was they should have made a season two of Cosmic Fury, which would have served as season four altogether. You know, because sitting back waiting and trying to figure out what's next and stuff like that is um, very crazy. And me, for me, actually, I'm going full Sentai because, you know, when Power Rangers was around, I kind of just watched that and, you know, and sentai was kind of more of the second burn you know how it was the second show that you watch you know when you have the hiatus and stuff like that but now ever since they went on hiatus it's like okay well sentai is kind of filling my void which technically sentai is power rangers for people who don't know and don't understand it's, it's a japanese show for people who think power rangers is an american show but that's besides the point but yeah it's like well I still say that Cosmic Fury Season 2, or they could have said it like this, Dino Fury Season 3, um, could have kept going. They could have kept the cast, you know, and stuff like that. Maybe if they move, maybe, I don't know how that works. I know they moved from New Zealand, um, but was that a good move right now, you know? And plus, Dino Fury, I believe, was very marketable, and... Um, and I did like Cosmic Fury a little bit more than Dino Fury 1 and 2. And uh, especially because they actually tried. And I'm not talking about they didn't try. But I'm saying like they didn't make it too kiddy if that makes any sense. They it, it, it felt like more older teens could watch it than adults. You know, it felt like. And it doesn't have to be a lot of this crazy cussing and, uh, and blood and gore. I don't want to, you know, that's. I mean, if you really watch Sentai, Sentai was pretty crazy in that. So I'm not going to sit there and say, well, they never done it. Because if you, you know, Sentai is pretty big in blood. Not a lot of blood and guts, but more, you know, blood and really try, really pushing the limits sometimes. But Cosmic Fury could have done that with Netflix. And I think they should they should have kept going, you know, and they should have figured out how to do it you know and maybe they could have made american exclusive monsters maybe they could have pulled monsters from some sentai shows that they know they're going to skip um because i know um what was the one i know uh ghost sagers which is mega force super which not super excuse me that was reg uh ghost sagers was mega force and um go kaiger was super mega force so they could have use some monsters they haven't even used from no from that show and maybe they could have dug in deeper on the um black dark ranger you know with uh the um uh, ah what was his name you know who i'm talking about i pull a picture up i can't remember his name but he was like the snide he was also he was snide kind of similar to the zeltrex uh character you know he they could have dug in deep with him in this season. I mean, if they would have came with another season, it's like, wow, you know, like they had the tools to really make another season. And, you know, and we could have gotten some exclusive Rangers. They could have pulled some over from um, Q Ranger, you know, which I still say Q Ranger should have been a standalone show because, man, that was a really awesome show, even for Sentai. And which is that's the original cut. But still, I, I would like to see American taken to it, you know. But it is what it is. But, you know, Cosmic Fury could have been that bridge for that, you know. But I just think what they're doing now, and I'm not dissing Hasbro or anything like that. But I think you guys should just stuck with this you know this could have been the real key to maybe getting some new fans and tell you guys figure this really out and uh just like how mighty morphin was you know saban and that's one thing i liked actually about mighty morphin it's not because and i'm not a mighty morphin nut actually and it's funny to make a quick note actually i um 
watched Power Rangers growing up. That was supposed. To, I've been there since Mighty Morphin season two, actually, because I was pretty young. Because I was three years old when it came out. Three, ninety three, four, ninety four, and before I consciously knew what I was watching. At four or five years old, it was like by that time Zeo was coming out by '96, you know, and and Fox Kids and stuff like that, you know, sitting down and I knew what I was watching. And the one thing I liked about Mighty Morphin, this is I found this out years later. I'm talking about this is I was 19, 20 years old when I found out, you know, Power Rangers was a Japanese show, and it's funny because they was telling us it's a Japanese show, especially that Dino, uh, Dino Thunder 2004 Lost in Translation episode. Uh, they made a goof about that show, but that, I thought it was just a, was, was was more giggles. I didn't think that was actually. This is 2004, by the way, and I didn't think about that show. I just thought that was being funny with Ethan, Connor, and Kira. You know, for people who don't know what episode I'm talking about, but yeah, it's Lost in Translation, uh, Dino Thunder. But it, but I'm getting kind of sidetracked there. Um, I liked how. See, um, Saban used Zoo Ranger suits for one, two, and three, and then but they used Megazords from um, Kaku Rangers and Die Rangers. I like that until they figured out what they wanted to do because they could have easily um, just changed the suits right in season two into die, all the Die Ranger suits because technically the White Tiger Ranger was a Die Ranger um, costume, you know. And when they even used some ninja stuff with uh, Kaku Rangers, but they even brought and they even rehashed them as alien rangers, you know. And that's exactly what I believe Cosmic Fury should have done. I think they should have fused uh, Dino Fury. I don't know the original name for the Dino Fury show, but I do know, you know, it's based off of it, of course. Um, they could have fused that with Q Ranger. And they could have also had Tarek take on the because there was a Purple Ranger in Q Ranger. That was they, I was watching the show. I said, wait a minute, they could have gave this to Tarek. That would have been pretty cool, you know. They didn't have to really abandon Sentai. Like I said, they can use props, but just make the whole they, they are enti- make the story their own. I mean, come on, it's not really that complex, and that's what I was getting at yesterday. But, uh, and also I want to make another side note, um, and I'm not going to talk about Netflix walking away from um, Power Rangers because I want to make sure that's legit news. I'm going to use another wrestling example was when WWE, I think it was last year, two years ago, I want to say it was last year, um, that everybody made, there was a big report, even think it was uh, so big that I believe NBC, Fox said Saudi Arabia had purchased the WWE and it might have been true I don't know but then we come to find out that that wasn't the case or and it probably like once when I say it, it might have been the truth that WWE might have pulled out I don't know but everybody said this happened but turned around it was actually false news um and that's when we find out that um I think m- many months later that um Endeavor had purchased the WWE from and Vince McMahon they closed the deal so I'm kind of not going to even entertain Netflix walking away from Power Rangers. Maybe they're just throwing us off to kind of get us talking and throw some news out. You know, to keep the Power Rangers least relevant. So I, I'm not going to entertain that. And the Boom Comics, I read a couple of Boom Comics. I like the Boom Comics, but I'm not really like, a, I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of it because I am a fan of Power Rangers. I'm a, a whatever Power Rangers related, but I never really sat down and really watched it. And people said it was good. I uh, did play the game though, the Shattered Grid game. That was pretty cool, and I did play Legacies. That was that was a mobile game. That was pretty fun, but I never really just sat there and really like, oh my god. But anyway, make, uh, but anyway, but back to uh, Cosmic Fury. But yeah, uh, they could really, they should have really stuck with that. And I was looking, actually, was looking at that show, the last two episodes yesterday, and I'm like, wait a minute. They could have really kept. They had something here, you know. They could have pulled if they did, wasn't going to do. If they was going to skip Q Rangers, which that, like I said, that's an awesome show to skip. But I understand it was so many Rangers, and I get okay. That could be t- kind of challenging to convert to Power Rangers. And once again, it's, Power Rangers is an easy concept, but I understand that can be kind of, kind of confusing. But they could have pulled some Rangers out from. Um, 
that show in them, that one I was telling you about, and I made an error yesterday. I was talking about Zenkaiger with the toy, or no, no, I was talking about the Lupin with the toys having that flaw. It was actually um, uh, Q Ranger. I misspoke. But uh, yeah, they could have just not even used that Ranger. They had um, once again the purple Ranger. They had um, they had the white because the red actually turned into a, the, the white. It was an upgrade. I was like, oh, that is sick, you know. They didn't. They probably could have just used that for Zato because Zato was a Zenith Ranger, and then they could have kept. Amelia and I, and I did like the cosmic fury suits. I wasn't really like really against it Maybe they could have changed the designs again. I don't know, but they could have done they could have kept this simple Concept that they had they already had the suits made up and just kept kept pushing them You know what I'm saying? Just and they could have just did that, uh, you know, I don't know how they I don't know how They kind of just said oh, okay. We're just gonna just do a reboot. We're gonna reboot, reboot everything you can but come on now let's just stick what we got right now and then when time is when the time is right then let's move into that direction now that you got everybody attention and plus um you guys can hop to what you guys want to do and it makes it easier transition because you already got people already on the hook of watching it instead of just dipping it out for so long and just and then saying oh okay now the to for the toys for go going for power rangers going to playmates okay i can see that happening and i and i know people are gonna say well, well how, how can you see that happening well real quick i'm gonna say this is because lightning collection is still selling i've been still seeing uh toys on the shelves and well, not in the regular stores but you know you got these little odd shore uh stores and um also, Amazon, you kind of people haven't collect every single figure, and it's probably hard to collect every single figure. But and what I mean by that is, is that um, some figures is probably rare or more uh, up uh, priced up in the market because I've seen a couple of those. And it's like okay now, but you kind of got people kind of you still got product people want to buy, and then when the transition happened, it's a little easier, and hopefully, they kind of you know keep. The quality, you know, and and I know that's gonna so that sounds crazy because I actually bought a Kong actually, just because I wanted to see how Playmates, you know, and I had the Ninja Turtles too. And I didn't realize they were Playmates. I got them like many years ago, like 2015, but uh, I didn't realize they were Playmates. It was pretty solid quality, and plus Kong um, toys pretty solid quality. Just the one based off the movie. So uh, yeah, so it's like okay, you know. Hopefully they keep this going. Maybe hope to keep this trend going. But anyway, uh, what's your thoughts? Do you think Cosmic Fury should have kept going? You know, I personally believe they should have kept going. But I don't want to. It's not about really about me at the end of the day. It's what you guys think. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just let me know what y'all feel, and uh, see y'all soon.